The administration should stop talking about this as a violation of international law. I don't mean that it isn't a violation of international law, but it's not as though this is happening in some remote Pacific island. It's happening in the heart of Europe. It is a violation of one of the, the most fundamental post-Cold War agreements on European security, under which we should say over and over again, the Ukrainians gave up nuclear weapons, and they gave up a naval base in Crimea in exchange for the U.S. We had an obligation. The U.S., the U.K., and Russia committing, committing was the word, to the territorial integrity and independence of Ukraine. That was done by President Clinton personally. It was reaffirmed in 2009 when President Obama met with Medvedev. This is a very serious violation of the order in Europe. Moreover, it's done on a principle, and I don't want to go back to Munich because Putin is not Hitler, but this idea that you can intervene in another country to protect an ethnic minority would apply across most of Eastern Europe and most dangerously in the Baltic states. So this is something that engages U.S. interests in a major way. And you ask what could be done, I would say one place to start is in Syria. For three years, we've watched Putin's allies slaughter innocent Syrian civilians, and we've done nothing to arm the decent people in Syria. Demonstrating that we can do that would be a very powerful signal.